Hey guys, and welcome to IL-2 Stromovic Clips of Dover. Now, this game was produced by Ubisoft in March of 2011, I believe. Unfortunately, when the game first came out, it had a lot of bugs in it, a lot of quirks, and was generally unplayable. Thankfully, however, as you can see in the bottom right corner here, a modding community by the name of Team Fusion was able to pick this game up and fix all the quirks in it, so that the game would be playable, and by god is it a fun game. Now today, I was hoping on starting the Clips of Dover campaign. This campaign has a narrative story to it, and the missions in it tend to be fairly short with a lot of action in them, unlike the other campaigns as you can see here, Adler and Grief, and the two Team Fusion ones, East and West. As you can see, the maps are really big, so you tend to have very long sorties, and sometimes you don't even see action. But they're meant to simulate a, well, they are full realism campaigns. Um, without further ado, I will read you guys the starting narrative for the Clips of Dover campaign. May 13th, 1940. I joined the RAF exactly eight months ago. The war had just started in Europe. I always wanted to fly. All those news real images of Germans bombing defenseless targets made me want to fly even more. I imagined myself in a glistening new fighter, diving onto a German bomber formation, machine guns firing, tracers ripping into those dull green wings with black crosses. One morning, I just went to a recruitment center and signed up. Lied about going for a few rides in a biplane before. Six weeks later, I took my first flight in a tiger moth, the most horrifying day of my life. Now that I have my wings, it all seems so different. How naive I was. I just got posted to an operational squadron. I really hoped for a Spitfire squadron, but I'll be flying hurricanes. I'll be diving on German bomber formations alright. But it won't be glamorous, and it won't be easy. They'll be firing back. Those bombers bristling with machine guns manned by grizzled Luftwaffe veterans that decimated Polish and French air forces, and gave the British Expeditionary Forces the what for. And high above us, there will be Messerschmitts, with their yellow noses and 20mm cannons in their stubby propeller hubs. Okay, and if we go to the next page, looks like we have the same narrative here. And this is the first mission in the campaign. I'll read the intro. 7.30 a.m. Yes, what is it? The squadron leader looked peeved. Pencil mustache, posh accent. I handed him my papers. What is this? You're joining the squadron? The other pilots in the briefing room looked up. Yes, sir. Received my orders on the 7th. He looked me up and down and began to leaf through my papers. Straight out of flight school. The squadron leader handed the papers back to me. Why do I need you? I can't send you in the battle. An older looking pilot, who he had been arguing with, had coughed and put his arm around my shoulder. Now, Terry, he said, you know we're short of pilots, and the way things are going, we'll keep on getting replacements just like this one. As I was saying, do we really have time to sit around? Why wait to send him up there? We're not only short of pilots, we're running out of planes. I can't put this guy in a perfectly good airplane and... The alarm bell rang. Everybody jumped up. A disheveled flying officer ran into the room and yelled, Squadron, scramble! Germans are attacking the shipping convoy. Tell you what, Terry, my new friend continued. I'm short a guy. Let me take him up. He can be my number three. I'll watch out for him and he can show us what he can do. The squadron leader said, Do as you like. I need to gear up. Let's go, sport. My new friend slapped me on the back. The name's Hugh Pickett. Stay with me. Keep your head on a swivel. Break when I break, fire when I fire, and try not to get too scared. Now come on. I could barely keep my wits together. Okay, it looks like in this sortie we're going to be flying a Hawker Hurricane, and we are going to be um, attacking some Dornier DO215s that are apparently going to be um, attacking a, uh, where did it say? It said it somewhere in here, a shipping convoy out in the middle of the uh, strait. So, without further ado, we'll get started. Okay guys, um, I just realized that I don't know how to fly a hurricane, so I will be back shortly as soon as I figure out the controls. A few moments later. 
Okay, I think I got this now. No, I do not. Okay, I think I just blew a tire. Twelve seconds later. Okay, got it going now. Let's see if we can get airborne. No, 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 no. Two hours later. Okay. Oh, that's the ground. Ah, shit. Okay, guys, we got everything on the ground now, so, uh... I figured out how to use all the controls, and we can get this thing airborne. Let me just turn on the gun sight there, open up the cockpit. Yeah, open that up. Just in case I need to bail out, and oh my god, there's bombers right there. They're telling us to scramble. Oh, crap. Where are they? There they are. Oh, they're already right in front of us. Holy cow, there's... Oh, there's only three of them. Let's close that up. That's getting really loud. Okay, get off the ground. I'm right behind Hugh here. There it is, my landing gear. Oh, hey there, Pickett. Okay, waiting for the the red lights indicate that the gear are up. Now I can put those flaps up as well. There's no way we're going to be able to go head on with that. Oh my god, they're shooting at us already. What's Hugh doing? There's no way we're going to be going... Uh, to attack those right now. We're way too low and slow. We'd get chewed up by their uh, tail gunners and waist gunners. And oh, that's not what I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine more bombers on the way. We need to get some altitude if we're going to be attacking these guys. Uh, the, probably the best thing we can do right now is get all those other hurricanes behind us off the ground. Yeah, they're taking off right now. We need to make it so there's not uh, there's nothing of importance on the ground for them to bomb. We can't afford to lose any of these aircraft. Actually, those are do do two one fives, and I know those have a wingspan of fifty nine degrees. Where's Hugh going? Okay, Hugh's right there. So I want to set this up to sixty. There we go, and the top one's set up to 40, or 400. Hugh, where did you go? Okay, you're right there. Okay, as you can see in my gun side, there's two like little lines there. Um, I believe my guns are um, set at a convergence of 400 meters, so I have guns on both wings, and at 400 meters, the bullets will meet at one point in space in front of me, so I can aim for a single engine and whatnot, and have all the bullets land in relative, like, relatively the same area. There are the bombers right there. I think Q's going for the first one. Oh, that first one's already hit. Flack must have gotten him. Gonna go for him first, go for that damaged engine, see if I can't knock it out. There we go, I hit him. Wrong engine, though. Oh, yeah. Look at all those hits. Oh, yeah, he's bailing out. That crew's going down. Okay, that's one down under our belt. Now, where the heck are the other two? There they are. Hugh's going for him. Hugh's getting some hits on the left wing there. Okay, looks like we got, uh... Luton 4 through 7 in the air now. They're attacking the bombers as well. Uh, is this one going down? I can't tell. No, it's just turning. Oh, uh, no, it's engine's out. Yeah, he's hitting the gr He's gonna hit the ground. Yeah, there you go. Okay, where the heck is the third bomber now? I can't believe we already got two already. We haven't had a single loss yet. Where the heck's the, uh, the second formation? Over that way. That's the bomber that had all the uh, crew members bail out. That one's out of action. Okay, Luton's uh, taking care of those, or Hugh Pickett, so I'm going to go for the main formation here, see if I can hit some of these guys head on. I've got eight of these machine guns, so I have a huge volume of fire. I'm going to see if I can knock out uh, any of the pilots, shoot the cockpits. Uh, it's going to be a long shot, though. Oh, wow. Nailed that one. Oh, shoot, I just took a hit, too. 
Okay, this is gonna be really dangerous with so many bombers. Oh my god, I actually got that one. No way. I can't believe they bailed out of that one. Didn't seem like they had a lot of damage, just looked like a, like an oil and coolant leak. Usually that's not enough to make them bail out. Gonna go for that one right there, it looks like he's isolated. He's falling behind. So what is that, two, three under our belt already? It's a great job, and I'm pretty sure, uh, oh, there's another hurricane above us. There aren't any 109s above us covering these guys, are there? I haven't seen any. Another hurricane. Okay. Kind of going to come in on this guy. Going to aim for the right engine. Oh, look at that shot. Uh, going to make this nice and precise. On, little down, little down. There we go. Spray him down. Oh, there we go. He's pulling up. Did I kill the crew? I might have killed the crew, actually. Him pulling up all like that. I might have shot. Oh, yeah, they're bailing out. I must, I must have killed the pilot. There's another bomber right there pulling up. Gonna go for that one, too. We must be running low on ammo already. We fired a ton of rounds. And these, these things fire fast. These, uh, 303 Browning machine guns. They have a ridiculously high rate of fire. Okay, I'm gonna open up my cutout. I'm going pretty slow right now. I need to get some, uh, speed going. Okay, oh, perfect. This guy's distracted by another hurricane above me. Oh, I just knocked out something. Yeah, they're bailing out. Yeah, that's another one down. And they're going out to sea. I don't want to chase them in case they have escorts over the, uh, over the strait, so I'm going to head back over and land. As soon as I figure out where the heck the airfield is. I'm pretty sure that's not the airfield we were at. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Our field is somewhere off in the distance there. Though, how many bombers did we end up getting? One, I think, four, maybe? I'm surprised. We didn't catch any or on fire or blow the wings off any. They just oh, panic and, panicked and bailed out. That almost never happens. We got extremely lucky on that. And we still have ammo to spare. I would have kept going after those guys if they didn't go out to sea like that. I do not want to risk having uh, getting into a dogfight uh, with 109s with such little uh, ammunition. And we did take a few hits from the uh, bombers as well, so I don't see any bullet holes on the wing, so or on the engine top there, so they might have hit me in the aft uh, or on the underside of the aircraft. Oh, I should probably turn off the cutout before I blow up my engine. That could be dangerous. What's my RPMs right now? 3,000. Actually, that's a little high. I'm going to throttle back a little bit. What is it now? Okay, that's that's a little more respectable. Here's one of the bombers we shot down earlier. Okay, the airfield is over this way. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, perfect. We're in line to land on the runway already, so... What a coinky thing. Let me see how fast I'm going right here. I normally fly German aircraft, so I'm not very familiar with the gauges on these air kind of um, on these kind of aircraft. The Hurricane, the Spitfires, Blenheims, things of that sort. Well, the Allied aircraft, basically. Though I believe that the stall speed on this aircraft is just under 100 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour. I, th I believe the touchdown speed is 100 and the stall speed is 80. So I'm throttling back the engine here, just letting it glide in. We're getting pretty close, so... Throttle up a little bit, I don't want to... Actually, no, I'm going to keep it like that. Drop the flaps, actually. That'll probably cause some drag. Have a slow down a bit. Oh, yeah, that's making a slow down, you could see. Down to 120 or so. 110. 
you can see that little gauge right there that indicates your uh, flat position right here you can see that it's all the way at the bottom so let's drop our gear now you can see those red lights turned off and they're gonna turn green when the landing gear is locked in position there we go landing gear and we're ready to drop her onto the runway there looks like we're on the auxiliary runway though right now Coming in, I'm going to point my nose right at the end of the runway. Throttle up a bit, a little bit. And convert into a three-point position. There we go. And then just have her coast in. There we go. A little rough on the landing there, but we're good. It bounced on the uh, left landing gear there. Oh, gee, oh, that could have been bad. I could have broken my landing gear on that crater there. Oh, hey, they're looting three. I oh, know, wait a minute, I'm looting three. That's probably... Actually, what what's that aircraft's markings? FCD, so that's a looting four right there. I'm going to taxi over to the runway here. Or not the runway, the, uh, the hangars. I'm going to go park it in there and turn off the engine. We've got some trucks driving around. I don't see any other aircraft on the runway yet other than uh, looting four there. Oh, no, we got another one over there as well. More trucks, fire crews, make, make, um, they're here to make sure that nothing's been damaged. Doesn't look like the damage is that bad. Going right by the flight tower here. Okay, just going to turn her in. And... Brakes, 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 brakes. Where's the fuel cock? Cut the engine. Auxiliary off. Okay, there we go. Open up the cockpit, and that is it for the first mission, guys. We got another hurricane just on the outside, taxiing to one of the other hangars. Uh, let's see. Are we allowed to finish the mission yet? I do not know. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get like a message at the top of the screen saying that you're uh, allowed to finish or something along those lines. Uh, oh, yep, there it is. There we go. Press escape to end mission. And I believe we just click exit after that. And here are the statistics after the match. Okay, we flew a hurricane. And we destroyed four Dornier 215B1s. Uh, Two of them were completely destroyed. Um, must have blown out the controls there. I think this is the one that we caught the engine on fire maybe and this is that one right at the start that they just panicked aircraft damaged actually those are the same four aircraft so actually i think what happened here was they were damaged like not a lot maybe like 30 percent the crew decided to bail out crediting the aircraft as being destroyed and then it um increased the damage to 193 and 76 when they hit the ground i'm taking this one didn't explode when it hit the ground but these two did Okay, and then we have the battle success here, guys. I'll read it for you out loud. The air, the airfield looked much better from the ground. From the air, the place looked obliterated by the German bombs. Bursts of flames, pillars of dirt, rising up and covering the entire field. The destruction looked devastating. When we landed, we found out that nothing of importance was hit. Most of the bombs fell around the runways, leaving a bunch of craters in the dirt. The men were already at work filling up the holes. The pilots gathered in a large cloud, or a large loud group by the operations building, cheering, laughing, making hand planes, showing each other their successful attacks on the Dorniers. I was laughing with them, but quickly noticed that most of the men didn't respond to me and turned away to ignore me. I looked around and saw Pickett. Not bad for your first combat, not bad at all. Thank you, sir. I'm glad I had the chance to prove myself. So am I. Those Huns didn't know what hit them. What a fight. What a fight. I kept looking out for escorts. Couldn't believe my luck. Escorts? My elation suddenly disappeared. I didn't even think of German fighters. I was so concentrated on the Dorniers, I never bothered to check my six. Still, try to stay in formation next time. When you break off like that, you expose yourself and your leader. Even when 
Uh, we were attacking un unescorted bombers. A tight formation. He paused, looked over my shoulders, and saluted. I turned around and saw Squadron Leader Tweed appear. I hear your protege did well today, Pickett. He looked at me straight in the eye for a second, then looked away. You both were very lucky that those Dornier 215s had no escorts. Yes, sir. Keep him in your element for now, and for God's sake, make sure he stays in formation. This isn't the circus. Pickett began to say something, but Tweed stopped him with a wave of the hand, turned around and left. I noticed Pickett could barely hold back a smile. Thanks, guys. That wraps up part one of our Let's Play of Isle 2 Clips of Dover, and I will see you in the next part.